start out with a little story that I had from a couple years ago. I had been to my very first gaming tournament. It was held in Orlando, Florida, and I had prepared very hard to play. And when I got to the tournament, I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than it actually was. And I was taken out within the first round of gaming. But this experience has given me the inspiration to get better at gaming tournaments and to find ways that I can help through video gaming. So with that, I will be talking about the Gamers Outreach Foundation. I will tell you how they were founded, what they do, and what we can all do to help. talk about how the Gamers Outreach Foundation was founded. In 2007, a 17-year-old kid from Saline, Massachusetts, or Michigan, I think it was Michigan, Zach Weigel wanted to have a Halo 2 gaming tournament at his high school. Within three weeks, his permit for the uh, tournament was suspended and he was not allowed to have the tournament at his high school because the local sheriff had uh, called the superintendent of the schools to complain that video games were inspiring crime in teenagers after the release of the first Grand Theft Auto game. And he had no choice but to uh, comply with the rules. And my source for this was the Ann Arbor News. After he uh, heard about the cancellation of this video game tournament, he quickly uh, designed a new one to help the Autism Association of America. And 300 people turned up, and that's when Gamers Outreach was formed. So next, I'll talk about what the Gamers Outreach Foundation does. The first project that they do is Project Go-Kart. Project Go-Kart is a, um, it's a portable gaming system that has been installed in 29 hospitals around the U.S., children's hospitals, in which 84,680 children have been helped. Uh, they're designed to provide the patients at children's hospitals with entertainment and give the kids a sense of normality among all their um, hospital routines. So here you can see, like, they have an Xbox, there's a little tray for the controllers, and a TV to play. Another thing that they do is Gamers for Giving, and Gamers for Giving is their annual fundraiser. It's a huge gaming tournament, and it was inspired by the very first one that they ever held. The 2016 uh, gaming funds were $132,083 out of their $100,000 goal. So. How can we help? You can start a fundraiser. Although the Gamers Outreach hosts a fundraising page where you can just start a campaign and spread the word for people to donate money, you can host an actual fundraiser, like maybe a bake sale or a team gaming night to raise funds. If you don't like that, you could stream. And what streaming is, is that you record yourself playing video games, usually on a computer, not on console, and you upload it, it you upload it to twitch.tv or YouTube, and
and you post a link to uh, the page to donate. If you don't fancy that, you could donate games and consoles because they're always in need for them. And right now the most requested game is Minecraft, Xbox One, and PS4 edition. Or you could simply volunteer or donate money. And they make it easy because all you have to do is go to the Gamers Outreach website, click Donate, and they have preset amounts where you can type it in and donate. So today, I've talked to you about how the Gamers Outreach Foundation was founded, what they do, and how we can help. And as I leave you, I would like to say that I hope we can spread hope and happiness by helping others level up.